Hi there traders, Tom here, hope you're well. Just another video update to summarise what's been happening in the markets over the last few days, but more specifically to have a look at those positions that we've been running. I know a number of you have been contacting me this week in regards to how to best manage these positions, so I'm going to cover that in the next 10 or so minutes. But it's great to hear that you're showing a very nice, healthy profit and we're what not even halfway through January yet. So it's a great start to the year and I'm really, really pleased. So let's try and squeeze as much money from these trades as possible. So the remainder of the year is actually a lot easier for us to trade. So we're gonna start off with the FTSE 100. This was a trade that I don't need to go through into too much detail because we've already done that but we took the bounce off support way back in middle of December the traders rallied very very nicely hitting our first profit objective and we've now got our second position on last week the market hasn't really done much it's bobbled along sideways um, which is a good thing because it's showing us that the sellers are failing to stamp their authority and Friday actually finishes quite a bullish bar so I still feel this has room to go higher to the next level of resistance which is at that 6800 level uh, and all being well it'll break through that and head up to our major major target which is the top of support which should hopefully show us a nice healthy return of around about six seven percent which would be incredible on an individual trade so that's the FTSE 100 don't need to do anything more our stop on our position two is at break even so we just leave this to run so the second was uh, Euro GBP is that fantastic reaction to this resistance level uh, at the top of the channel uh, for those of you that entered in on the four hour chart you'll be showing an extremely nice profit now because price has pushed down further during the week even though it hasn't encountered a little bit of support at this 8250 level I still feel it has room to go lower to the bottom of our channel which also interestingly corresponds with a 618 retracement of a major low back in 2012 so we may need to sit on this a little bit longer but we're happy to do so for another hundred or so points to get down to the bottom of this channel which should translate into another two or three percent for you traders which is again another excellent trade we just have to be patient and squeeze as much profit out of this trade as possible so that's the euro gp the kiwi against the United States dollar has been quite interesting over the last week. Um, we eventually got the breakout of this resistance level here. And price broke and closed convincingly above that resistance level and where it was resistance, it actually became support during the week. So if we just toggle this line here, we can actually see that almost just kissed that level just there. So it broke through, retraced, and kissed that level there and then finished as a very bullish outside bar. So it does look like there is much more room for potential to go higher. There is some minor, minor resistance just here, but I think if we get a break through that, then this market is going much, much higher. And we have that overall objective of around the 8800 level, which gives us lots and lots of room for profits so this one looks healthy gave us a nice retracement for those of you that got in on the retracement fantastic um, just leave this position to run now you've got your stop protected underneath that what was resistance now becoming support so leave the trade to run we've just got a little barrier to break through but once it breaks through that we should see this market going rapidly higher so kiwi another trade showing a nice profit there um, another trade that we haven't looked at too much but was on my, I believe, was on my original blog um, was the Australian dollar. The reason why I haven't got into too much detail on it is because Kiwi and Aussie are very correlated so they generally tend to do the same thing. But let's have a quick look at it because it was interesting how um, the market did rally from that level that we looked at. So we looked at that level at around about the 8855 level which is this double bottom pattern. Some nice technical divergence there. Um, so this was way back in the middle of December. So let's now have a look at the Australian dollar. After the back of the Fed news, we've started to push higher now. It did stagnate for a long time. Don't get me wrong, it hasn't really done much, but has eventually broken out. There was a lovely retracement and a low test bar on Thursday for the break higher. So this trade is looking ominous for a nice reaction to this support level here. So room to go higher. 
where could it potentially go? Well, there's a key significant horizontal level around about 9 to 80 level where we found resistance in the past support support and then eventually broke so there's still a nice amount of room there roughly nearly 300 pips to go so if you did get in on this retracement and this low test bar that's a nice healthy reward of almost 370 pips for a risk of around about 70 so good reward to risk in that scenario there so this looks like it's got room to go higher before it encounters the the next most significant roadblock which is this resistance level at the 9283 so another nice trade there again you may get some retracement to get into the move if you're if you haven't been able to take advantage of it so wait for some pullbacks to then take on the next move higher so that's the australian dollar and then gold gold is looking very good as well Gold is one that we've discussed um, in great depth over the past few weeks. We got that lovely reaction to that support level there. We got the ABCD pattern. We got that lovely reversal bar and then the market has broken higher. It did give us that retracement where the market came back for a couple of bars. We then got an inside bar on Thursday before the market then broke higher off the back of the Fed news. So again, if you took advantage of that retracement, excellent because if this is essentially the bottom of the market we have got much much further room to push higher if we got in on the original opportunity we are very very close to hitting p1 uh, profit one so very close to banking that one percent and moving our stop to break even for those of you who got on in on the retracement then you are already at your p1 with p2 still open so another trade which did exactly as we expected reacted to this level here and is now showing a lovely lovely profit so that really sums up the trades that we have been looking at there are plenty more out there but I could go on forever on a video and I don't want to do that I want to keep them short and sharp and go through trades which actually are relevant to what you guys are trading so these are wonderful trades that we looked at before the moves happened and they've continued to fulfill their potential and we're just making as much profit from them as possible it does mean as a day as an end of day trader we have to sit on positions for quite a while but that's absolutely fine to do so if we're showing four five six percent in January already then I'm more than happy to sit on positions and squeeze them squeeze the profit out even more to try and get to a double digit return where if you compare that to anything else you're doing incredibly well so hopefully this video update has helped and um, what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to go into more detail on the actual techniques that I personally use to find these high probability opportunities rather than looking at the markets I want to actually go through the techniques because if you empower yourself with the techniques you can have independence of it over your own trading decisions and that that's really what springboardyourself.com is all about is empowering you with the with the trading tools that you can use for the rest of your life that you're not then reliant on anyone else but yourself to really um, enhance and improve your your financial future so hope this little blog update has helped just to give you the comfort and peace of mind as to what to do with your trades and if you find other opportunities to take advantage of these of these asset classes then use your skills use your techniques to to do so um, but really really pleased to hear that you have been taking a good amount of profit already and you've got um, a significant amount of profit on the table as well to bank in future days and weeks so i will leave it there have a wonderful week's trading and i will speak to you very soon indeed